Tuesday, September 5th, 2017, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So it's quarter past one. Uh, I want to look at the markets as usual. And I also want to cover a little bit the cryptocurrencies. I want to look at the technical picture for Bitcoin and Ethereum and uh, talk a little bit about the China story about ICOs, China making ICOs illegal in China. Um, so first of all, let's start out with gold. Gold is a little weaker from yesterday's at 1331, down three. Uh, overnight range has been 1326 to 1339. So I think right now, uh, key resistance is, resistance is 1340 and support 1325. Um, yeah, uh, silver fairly uh, steady actually 1790 or right now up a cent uh, the range has been 1793 to 1777 overnight and in the morning uh, London uh, European morning uh, the Dow is basically down nine points not doing much 21,920 S&P futures uh, up half a point 2469 Crude oil is doing fairly well, up 51 cents at 48.20. That's WTI crude, up 1%. Uh, the dollar is a little weaker across the board against the yen and the pound. Against the yen, we're at 109.30, down over a third of a percent, which normally should help gold. But I think uh, gold has um, kind of done really well in yen lately as well and in sterling. So we're seeing a little bit of a correction in the XAU crosses. By XAU, I mean gold as a foreign uh, currency, which is traded uh, in the LBMA and in the Forex markets. XAU GBP, XAU G JPY, and XAU EUR. They're all like, uh, you know, crosses traded in the foreign exchange market. Uh, what else? No, that's... Uh, about it in terms of the currencies, precious metals, and stocks. Uh, looking at the dollar index, we're around 92.50. We got up about, uh, uh, above 93 last week. Um, 92 is still the key support uh, there. And a bit, uh, a look at cryptocurrencies and the, the story about China. You know, we've had a big correction since the Chinese government uh, banned ICOs. Uh, I subscribe to a channel called Box Mining, and uh, he's a Chinese chap, young guy, uh, talking about, um, he's got 51,000 subscribers. Uh, he focuses on, on cryptocurrencies. And uh, I'll put the video uh, above in the cards and the link below. I think he gives a really good explanation of what's going on in China. It says China's official ICO ban and what it means. Uh, one thing he notes is that he shows a page in the video and you see there's like a, a list of 40 or 50 uh, and, uh, you know, different ICO platforms. They're not even ICOs. They're just like platforms in China that uh, are doing ICOs. And it, it, he's, you know, it's just mad. He says, you know, it's gotten out of hand in China. Am I saying the government is right to ban it? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I think, you know, the Chinese government... Uh, they don't want disruption to the, you know, to the peace, you know, to social cohesion. They don't want to see people lose their shirt. Uh, even though I personally, as a free market individual, think governments should let people do, uh, you know, as they, they please. But in this case, in China, it looks like it's getting out of hand. It doesn't affect ICOs outside China. Uh, very interesting view from box mining. Uh, and... Um, you know, he he's not negative on cryptocurrencies, and I'm not either. Um, you know, we've had many times in the last 18 months news out of China about, you know, more regulation or, or cryptocurrencies, and the market has reacted uh, negatively initially, and then it just comes back up. Am I saying we're going to go right back up to 5,000 in Bitcoin or up, back up to test 400 in Ethereum? Uh, not really. Uh, I want to. I want to talk a little bit about the the technical picture, and I'll bring uh, 
first a long-term chart of uh, Bitcoin. And I made a video back in the uh, summer, earlier in the summer this year, when uh, Bitcoin was trading, uh, you know, between two and a half thousand and three thousand. And I said, you know, Bitcoin is uh, kind of getting ahead of itself, as you can see uh, here, you know, we're those moving averages there, the blue line and, and the orange line below. I said at the time, Bitcoin is getting ahead of itself and we need to see a correction. So, you know, the moving averages can catch up. And that's what happened there in July. We dropped from, you know, all the way below 2000. I think it was around 1800 Bitcoin. Uh, and then from then on, it's been a one way, basically street up to 5000. And as you can see, again, we're, uh, Bitcoin is getting ahead of itself again. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if we get back down towards two and a half thousand, maybe even lower to retest that lower uh, moving average. Am I saying that the, uh, you know, the interest in Bitcoin uh, is going to wane and disappear? No, I don't think so. I think uh, Bitcoin is like a roller coaster. You need a, you know, you need to have a good constitution to ride it. But uh, the overall trend of this uh, roller coaster is higher, in my opinion. So uh, just need to be uh, careful and uh, not, um, you know, put all your eggs in one basket. Ethereum, you know, Ethereum, Bitcoin, all the cryptocurrencies are hit, you know, after this China story. Uh, a lot of the uh, ICOs are, you know, through the issuance of Ethereum. So Ethereum, you know, had been near 400, uh, you know, recently. And we traded, uh, as, as I can see here in this chart, all the way down to uh, 270, um, almost 270. And longer term, looking at Ethereum, I remember last summer, you know, we were below 20. So uh, that chart, this chart here, the longer term chart, the only thing that's a little bit worrying is that it looks like we might have put a double top there just under under 400. The, the midpoint of that double top is uh, around 155. So it's not out of uh, the realms of possibility that we could go back down to, to that level, you know, to uh, mid, mid 100s. Uh, but uh, am I saying that? The game is over for Ethereum? No, I don't think so either. It, you just, it's just like a Bitcoin. It's a roller coaster. All cryptocurrencies. Will they survive in the future? Uh, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, probably. Well, are the other 700, uh, you know, cryptocurrency, all the tokens uh, going to survive? No. Um, but it's an interesting, um, you know, uh, how can I say, opportunity, speculation, uh, and uh, of course you need to do your due diligence and don't bet your house on it. Uh, so yeah, that's the story for the technicals. I think we've gotten ahead of ourselves. Uh, Cliff High, of course, has been predicting the, the prices uh, for cryptocurrencies very well for the last uh well, almost two and a half years. He was, when Bitcoin was around 250, he was talking about Bitcoin at 450, then 650. He's talking now of Bitcoin, you know, going to uh, more than 10,000 next year. You know, he could be wrong. He's been wrong on uh, other things. Uh, am I saying I think it's going there? Uh, it could. Um, so, that's it for now. Um, just wanted to uh, look at the markets and what they're doing. And uh, I recommend uh, Box Mining. Um, you know, the guy, this young Chinese guy knows uh, what he's talking about. And I think he's got some uh, good insight into what's going on in China with the cryptocurrencies. And as he said, it doesn't affect ICOs outside of China, even though that's the other risk about ICOs. Uh, that uh, regulators are going to crack down on it. So you have to keep that in mind as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, uh, and subscribe to my channel uh, if you haven't yet. And uh, thanks for watching. You can follow me also on steamit.com and, and on Twitter. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.